Hi Aquarius, this is your May 27th through June 2nd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love entry in your life. Spread number two is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. After that in the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and uh, we'll wrap things up with the final, the fifth spread which is what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week, um, Aquarius. We have uh, the Two of Wands, clarified by the Fool. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the uh, Star and the Ten of Cups. And uh, we have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, and other Aquarius. We also have um, Aries, Virgo, maybe a Sagittarius. So here's what I'm picking up right away when I see this, Aquarius. Th this person is like hesitating a little bit. Not because they're doubting you, I think they doubt themselves that they can, that they can have you, <laughs> okay? I'm just being honest with you. And it feels kind of young or younger energy, right? Younger energy, because we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Fool here. These are all younger energies if you ask me. Maybe this person is younger than you. Okay, maybe they are usually, you're, they're typically very confident, but uh, they're in love with you, they fall in love with you, and their confidence flew out the window. You know how they say, we're not ourselves when we fall in love? Maybe that's what's happening. Because I see this person hesitating a little bit, but they're, what they're going to do, they're just going to take a leap of faith. They're just going to tell themselves, you know what, I will never know if I don't try. And they're going to try. <laughs> they are going to try. Right, and uh, towards the end of this reading, in the potential outcome, it gets more mature. Not, not like age-wise, maybe age-wise, but it gets more stable, more grounded, that type of energies, right? But they're coming in with the, uh, with the Fool, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. That's what they're coming in with, right? And these are younger energies, uh, or like, let's just take a leap of faith, let's just try this. That's what the Fool is. It is a card of taking a leap of faith. And they're coming in fast. They're coming in fast with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Those two are pretty speedy cards. If this person is at a distance from you, they will come see you. They may literally show up. Or they may give you like a two hour notice and they're, they're, they tell you, you know, I'm, I'm already on the plane, I'm already in the bus, I'm already in the car, I'm coming. <laughs> or this is them just rushing in hoping to sweep you off your feet, hoping to just tell you how they feel and hope for, for a good response, all right? The Knight of Swords clarified by the Ace of Cups, that's what I was just talking about. Them coming in fast and telling you how they feel with that Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is true, genuine, authentic love, right? We also have that Eight of Wands clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Again, more travel cards. The Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card, so perhaps that's what it is. It's a card of somebody being in love, struck by uh, uh, the arrows of love. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle. This is when things start to get more mature, I guess, because it's a major arcana card. They do mean business. They are serious about you with a Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. It could be either a Gemini or Virgo you're dealing with, right? We're in the middle of a Gemini birthday season, by the way. Um, the magi but the Magician is a card of manifestation. So they mani they're manifesting you into their life like crazy. Right? And the Magician is also a card of somebody who is very creative. The Magician is a card of taking action. Taking action. And the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Cups, is definitely taking action. So in the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Star and the Ten of Cups. So that's when things get like really serious. And uh, no wonder, it's a potential outcome. The Ace of Pentacles is the second Ace. This card often comes through as a marriage proposal. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to get serious. It's a serious card. And it's also like a universal card, because it works for everything. It works for money, family, friendships, and marriages. <laughs> right? The star in the middle right there, that's you. That's you, Aquarius. That's your major arcana card. You're represented here by your own major arcana card in your own reading. Okay, and uh, we have the Ten of Cups right next to the deck, which is a card of a family, commitment, marriage. 
All right, so the, the potential is definitely there. So this person is going to shoot their shot this week. They're going to tell you how they feel. They may literally show up. They really want you. They're, they may come off a little young or younger, or, or they may feel this way. Their approach may feel this way. But uh, they actually mean it. They actually they do mean it, Aquarius. <laughs> All right, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or if you're already married, Aquarius, uh, this card is for you. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And we have Strength on the bottom of the deck. Well, Aquarius, another Zodiac sign had a similar reading. <laughs> I forget which Zodiac sign it is. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to stay under the PG-13 radar, because it's... Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, I think this week you're going to let the genie out of a bottle. <laughs> Where is, you're going to let the genie out of the bottle. All right, let, let me elaborate, let me explain. We start with the Ten of Swords, and when I saw that card, I got, I, I got a little worried. But uh, it's not so bad. The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, right? And what's coming to an end is the Eight of Swords clarifying it. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is overthinking. Somebody who is stuck in their thoughts, somebody who is stuck there in the mind, and I think you've got something on, on your mind. You want to do something, you want to try something new with your, uh, with your person, <laughs> but you're not sure how they're going how, how to react to it if you just tell them, if you tell them what you want. Okay? But this week, you will have that courage with the strength card. It is a card of courage, and it's also a card of pure, <laughs> raw passion. You're going to let that genie out of the bottle because you're going to tell your person what's been bothering, what's been on your mind, what you want to try, right? Uh, the Queen of Swords in the middle, that's you, and the Ace of Wands qualified by the Wheel of Fortune, that's what you want. You want something new, something very passionate, exciting, something hot and spicy. What are the Ace of Wands? <laughs> And uh, the strength card on the bottom. You know, two, the, those two are very passionate cards or could be interpreted as such. And the Wheel of Fortune clarifying it is uh, the start of a new cycle. So it's a new beginning, some kind of a hot, spicy, uh, exciting, passionate new beginning. I don't see any rejections. I think you're going to be very well received. So don't overthink it. Aquarius, go ahead and uh, voice it out. And uh, I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Lovers, and uh, we have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we have Gemini. You know what it looks like? It, everything is revolving around a Gemini birthday party. Right, it had, what's about to take place, what's about to go down, has something to do with a Gemini birthday party. <laughs> right, uh, we're in the middle of a Gemini birthday season. The lovers right next to the deck is a Gemini major arcana card. The three of cups in the middle is a card of a party. Right, and the page of cups is an invitation. Or if you're going to a Gemini's birthday party yourself, you, your ex could also be there, or they may invite you to go to a birthday party. Right, or so, something among those lines. Right? The, the lovers is here for a reason. It's also kind of a choice, right? So maybe at the end you'll have a choice as to what you want to do about this. But another thing I can tell you is that you could be dealing maybe with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, but uh, perhaps this person, uh, they were saving some money or they were accumulating wealth before they decided to get back together with you so they could provide for you right because they're coming in with the knight of pentacles the first card i came with we also have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck the six of pentacles is a card of an equal give and take a card of balance but it's also a card of generosity maybe they just got paid or just got promoted they've been saving up so they could come in and show you that they can provide right the knight of pentacles yeah it's a, it's the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights and i think this is what they're coming with coming in with they're not trying to buy you. <laughs> they just want to show you that they can provide. Maybe that was the problem in the past, that they didn't have a job, or they weren't making enough money, or something about... Uh, maybe they just they didn't have enough education, and now they got enough education, and they got a better job, or something like that. Right? And then uh, here comes that uh, Page of Cups or the Three of Cups. Definitely some kind of a party. Some kind, not necessarily a Gemini, but more, it could be any type of an event, 
right? They may invite you to a concert. They may tell you, hey, I got tickets to this concert, to this show, to this game. Game, would you like to come with me, or something like that? All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Aquarius, this week we have the Five of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands. We have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, it's definitely competition. Competition, Aquarius. Right? You could be competing against other people, against other companies, or somebody could be competing for you. <laughs> that happens too, more often than you think. But uh, once this is all said and done, there's going to be some sort of a contract signed or some sort of a agreement. Right? With the, the Two of Cups in the middle, I always interpret it as a handshake card when it comes to work, business, and finances. But to the left from the Two of Cups, what precedes that is the two competition cards, right? The Five of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands. The Five of Wands is definitely a card of a conflict, competition, fighting for something, competing. The Seven of Wands is a card of standing your ground, fighting off the competition, you know, proving yourself, you know, defend, being on defense. Right, defending your point of view, defending your vision, defend, defending your candidacy. And uh, at the end of the day, yeah, well, you got the Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances. And the Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is doing very well financially. And it's also a card of somebody who is respected, somebody who is the glowing up and admired. All right, Aquarius, so you do have a dynamic week coming your way. All right? Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aquarius. We have the world, clarified by death. Uh, we have the queen of wands, the five of pentacles, and the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we also have Scorpio. What you're not expecting is this queen of wands, uh, maybe they're going to get fired from their job. Okay, I don't know who this queen of wands is to you, but something is coming to an end, and they're really, really sad about it. All right? And from what I see, it's probably financial, right? Because right next to the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles could be definitely interpreted as a card of somebody who is struggling financially. And that would be the Queen of Wands, right? So who is most likely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the uh, Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck, yeah, they're very stressed out about it. You may have to step in if you, if you, if you want to or if you can to help them out financially or maybe try helping them to find a new job or something like that but uh, that's what it kind of feels like something is coming to an end for this queen of wands and they're really uh, upset about it all right aquarius so um that's what i have for you for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also comment and subscribe and uh, other than that aquarius have an amazing week